I've been in self-improvement now for four years, quite a long time. And I feel like over that time, I've actually learned quite a lot of various skills that I think are super helpful with me today. Today, I just wanted to make a really quick video just outlining some of those skills. So I'm going to list five key skills down that are like standout skills that really help me to this day. And I'm not going to be like other YouTubers who kind of give you these ambiguous skills, you know, like uh, the skill of motivation, the skill of hard work. I've done that stuff before on the channel and this video I really want to get kind of specific about some really specific goals and why I think they're useful. So we're just gonna go straight into the first one. So the first skill that has been super, super, super important to me is digital marketing. So this is kind of the big main uh, technical skill that I've learned. And I wanna give you the reason why I think digital marketing is so important and why I think you should learn digital marketing is potentially the next skill to learn in your self-improvement journey. So if you don't know what digital marketing is, digital marketing is just the same as traditional marketing, except it's done in the digital world. So things like YouTube ads, Facebook ads, um, Google search ads, any kind of advertising that's done on the internet, on social media, that kind of thing. Why is digital marketing so important? Because at the end of the day, if you don't want to be a digital marketer, there's no really reason for you to need to learn digital marketing, right? Well, the reason I think digital marketing is important is because it's that second tier up on what Alex Hamozzi describes as kind of the three key skills in order to like level up your income. So the first skill is sales. If you can learn to sell, if you can learn digital marketing, that's learning to sell to multiple people simultaneously through media, through content. So it's that next step up. It's like a way to scale your selling ability. You learn that second tier. I think that's super valuable because sales is, you kind of learn it with digital marketing and then you can actually learn to sell to lots of different audiences at the same time through media. So you, you're taking time out of the equation and you're automating the whole process of selling something. I think that's super, super valuable. And honestly, it's not as hard as you probably think to learn. And I think it's gonna become more and more valuable a skill in the coming years. The next skill I'm gonna throw in here is uh, video editing actually. So you might not have expected this, but I really think video editing is a super, super important skill, especially if you're getting into the digital world and you wanna get on social media and you wanna make money from the internet, you wanna make money from social media. As we all know with TikTok, with YouTube, shorts with the way everything's going um, it's basically going to become a crucial that you're able to create video content to draw people in and um, if you're wanting to sell products to people sell courses to people sell anything to anyone you can bet that you're going to have to do that through video because everyone's so used to video they're so used to tiktok they're so used to youtube shorts the audience has climatized to that kind of style and learn how to do basic editing and things like that to make everything look really kind of professional and that kind of thing something that i'm working on something that i'm nowhere near perfect at yet but i'm continuing to work on the skill and it's something that i definitely um recommend everyone uh, learn if you're on your self-improvement journey if you're trying to earn money online if you try to get ahead of everyone learn how to video edit because most people don't know how to video edit there's only a couple handful of people i've met who actually know how to video edit well i've not paid for any video editing courses everything i know about video editing i've learned myself I recommend using premiere pro um it's not that expensive I think it's like 20 pounds a month, which is like $25 a month. Um, or if you've got a Mac, you can use um, Final Cut Pro, which is a different editing software, but it's kind of the same. If you want to do something that's free, you can use Canva. They've got some decent editing tools and CapCut. Uh, that's got some decent editing tools in there as well. So there's a few uh, different softwares for you there. For the third skill, I'm going to go with routine making. So this might sound a little bit obscure, but trust me, this is uh, pretty specific. Routine making, something I've managed to refine over the past two years is actually sticking to a routine and able to set goals for myself and actually achieve them on a daily basis, taking kind of big goals and bite-sizing them down into like daily actionable steps. I do think this is a skill and I don't think many people know how to do it. For example, with me, it's a get up at six. I get up at six every day, complete my work day. And then once I come home, I'm going straight to the gym. I never miss a day at the gym. And then after the gym, I'm filming the video. And then the next day I do the same thing, film a video, and then, and then I'll also edit a video and then I'll upload a video. So every day, hopefully I can kind of <laughs> get a uh, video uploaded most days on the channel. And I also um, kind of run another YouTube channel. So that's kind of why it's not daily on this channel, but uh, something I'm trying to get better at. But yeah, routine making. Um, it might sound a little bit obscure, but trust me, this is a skill. Now, what's the best way to kind of get into a routine and stick to a routine on a daily basis? Well, for those of you who are completely autistic like I am, this should be pretty easy. But if you're not completely autistic, then what I recommend you do is literally just use reminders on your phone. So if you've got an iPhone, you can just open the reminders app and set a reminder every day for four to go to the gym or five or six, whatever time it is. So it actually physically pops up on your screen 
go to the gym and then also set up a timer for an hour after that to film a video or to do whatever work you need to do. Um, just get it all so every day your phone's sending you reminders to do things so that you're not forgetting. And the more and more you do it after like two weeks of doing it, it'll just go into a routine. It's kind of the skill of like not just going with the flow, kind of like actually planning your day and putting actionable stuff in there getting it done and then each day you kind of a stepping stone further um towards your goal rather than just sort of going with the flow chilling out um you just kind of drift drifting off somewhere in life some to some career um instead of actually like taking action and kind of steering your life in the direction you, you want to go to a big uh, differentiator of that is being able to set goals for yourself set an agenda for the day and follow that and follow through with the things you said you're going to do so that's the third skill. Fourth skill is gonna be synthesis. So you guys might know what synthesis means, you might not. Synthesis is simply the skill of being able to take stuff that you learn from books, from podcasts, from YouTube videos, and essentially boil them down into simpler ideas and kind of being able to explain and convey that across and then package that up um, and put it onto some sort of content, kind of like this YouTube channel. This whole YouTube channel is the practice of synthesis. There are a lot of synthesizers in the world. There are a lot of people who do this. Hamza, Alex Hamozi, Iman Gazi. So for example, I'll listen to a Andrew Huberman podcast on cold showers and cold exposure, which I have done. And I'll learn about that. And then I'll dig into it a bit more myself. And then I'll actually put those protocols into practice. So taking cold showers every day, looking at the effects of it. Do that for about a month, which I've been doing cold showers for more than a month now. Once I kind of figure out my own opinion on it, I can actually package up those kind of complicated theories and take it from theory into practice and then education. So I'm learning about the thing and then I'm doing it, practicing it. And then I syn the synthesis bit is taking the knowledge and the experience packaging it together and then being able to distribute it and educate people on that topic. So that's what I do on this YouTube channel. That's kind of the general concept of synthesis. And I think this is a really good skill for you to learn if you wanted to get into social media and personal branding and that sort of thing. And the last skill is the skill of being able to practice self-control. So this is the skill of being able to not go on your phone constantly. This is the skill of forcing yourself to go to the gym if you don't feel well. This is the skill of being able to do some work even if you don't feel like it, as Hamza would say. Avoiding instant gratification and swapping that out for delayed gratification. It's essentially being able to dopamine detox, be able, be able to do things that are uncomfortable in order to feel better later on. And I just call this the kind of the overall skill of discipline, self-control, whatever you want to call it. But I do think anyone on the self-improvement journey and anyone who wants to get ahead in life um, and kind of accelerate their journey towards the goals, towards success. They need to learn um, discipline, the ability to put your phone away, not be going and scrolling through social media all day, um, the ability to actually do some work, do some hard graft, even if you really don't want to, the ability to be able to go to the gym. You've set a goal to go to the gym today and just go there, even if you don't want to, you know. And just a quick tip, if you do want to get more disciplined and um, avoid instant gratification for delayed gratification. I do think one of the best things you can do is cold showers. It's the best way to practice mental resilience and discipline. That kind of moment where you're just about to go in the cold shower and you really, really, really don't want to, it's dreading it and you actually just go in and it's horrible. That kind of feeling that's really, really good at practicing uh, mental discipline, mental resilience and just be able to power through stuff even if you don't want to. So definitely recommend you guys do that and level up that skill. That's gonna be a super important skill later down the line. Anyway guys, that was the video. Quick little one today. Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something and I'll catch you in a bit.